Hey, this is Bus Driver. I'm going to show you a little tutorial how to take your controller apart. For this tutorial, you need a Phillips screwdriver. Make sure it is a Phillips screwdriver or it will not work to take it out. Next, you will need a Torx T8 anti tamper screwdriver. Make sure it has the little tiny anti tamper hole on the bottom of it or it's not going to work. And a controller. First, take your controller and flop it on its stomach. Next, take the battery pack out. Next, you'll see the seven screws located around the controller that you must remove in order to get it apart. If you've never taken your controller apart before, you'll need to remove this little tiny sticker here which hides the seventh screw. This is what it looks like with the sticker removed. Once all the screws are removed, grab the controller and start wiggling it back and forth to take the back cover off. Next, you're going to take the board out by grabbing it and wiggling it again to get it out as well. Remove the two rubber pieces and place them aside. Next, take out the bottom trim. Then take out the top trim. Now you can either start taking out the buttons one by one, or you can do it how I like to do it. Now you'll see here is we're going to remove the D-pad where that Phillips screwdriver comes in handy again. They're located with the one and two markers at them. Grab your Phillips screwdriver and undo these screws. Take the two small Phillips screws out and place them aside. Make sure you do not lose these screws. Next, the D-pad just pull apart easily. Just like that. Next, to remove the thumbsticks, just pull them away from the board. They come out very easily. Now to remove the triggers. To remove the triggers, you're going to push this rod down into the right as well to move it out. Same goes the other side. Push it down and out. Next, to remove the triggers out further, you're going to have to put this little red tab past the white tab. There's tabs on both sides. The red tab has to go past the white tab. When doing this, make sure the little tiny spring inside the controller does not go flying. If you lose the spring, the controller's triggers will not work. Next, to remove the trigger completely, just slide it off with the little poles. Now your controller is complete. Everything has been removed, and you're ready to reassemble it. If you'd like to know how to reassemble it, just watch this video backwards. No, I'm kidding. In my next video, I'll show you guys how to reassemble the controller and put it all back together. If you guys have any questions or comments, just leave a comment in the bottom. Get me on Twitter at Bus Driver or at XDH Gaming. And uh, stay tuned for the next video where I will be doing a giveaway. So make sure you subscribe, comment, and hit me up.